Hi guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Shatterpoint unboxing video. This time we have this party's over squad pack. So you have Mace Windu, Commander Pons, and two ARF troopers. So as you can see, the cellophane is still on the box. So we'll pop that off and have a look at it. Okay, so here's the back of the box. So you get two ARF troopers, just plain clone armor, just a different type of helmet. You also get Mace Windu and two head options for Commander Pawns, one being the Django uh, clone head and one being the Mark One clone armor helmet which I'll probably be using because I haven't I've been trying to put the helmets on everything that I've had. So you get four miniatures, three unit stack cards, three stance cards and three order cards. And then there's a better look at the front. Okay, so I'm going to pop this open and we will have a look at what's inside. So, not much by the looks of it. Models and bases and cards. So, I'll just get rid of the box. Read this first. So it's basically just a QR code for the instruction manual. And it tells you in all different languages. Um, order cards, stance cards, and I presume stack cards are in there as well. So we'll have a look at the models first. Okay, so having a look at the models first, we have four of the bases. So these are like generic bases throughout the whole range, so I'm not going to spend too much time on them. And then we have one sprue isn't too bad from what I can see looks like the arm of a super battle droid for the base um, and we also have a B1 battle droid here didn't pay that much attention on the box I don't know who's who's got what so I nearly broke his lightsaber there don't do that there's what looks like five parts to make up Mace Windu so you have head front torso with legs back torso um, lightsaber and his left arm. The cloak details on these models are absolutely brilliant. Um, moving down you have a blast pistol in, uh, or a blaster pistol in a holster. This seems to be like the power pack or oxygen kind of tank that goes on the back of the clones. Uh, open hand arm and a blaster. I'd say I'd say this whole area here makes up commander pawns. So you have the front and back of his armor front and back of his legs, head options, legs and his arms which would mean then that the rest here is for the ARF troopers so looks like what you're getting there is the front and back of the head, blaster arms, uh, front and back of the torso and then just legs and we have a busted up B1 with some bullet holes in them uh, obviously for one of the bases not sure which and then we have the other torso and arms for the other ARF trooper. So the models look pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at the stack cards. So stack, stack cards. Um, absolutely brilliant, beautiful art here. Hold on, let me Okay, so we have the unit order card, so he gets the activating ability when he's deployed, so does pawns, and the art for the ARF troopers is actually deadly. That is really nice. And then we have their stance cards, um, I'm presuming these are the English ones, and then it starts changing languages then, yeah. Cool, so these are all spares basically for different languages, these are the three that we want, so... Starting off with Mace Windu, Jedi Master, he's got two, okay, so on this one, he's no shooting attack, six dice attacking with his lightsaber, which is pretty good, and then he's six defense on each, um, for defending, so straight up you're getting, after the force hit, you're getting a push, two damage, a push, two damage, and then his damage tree branches out, 
So you have an extra damage, um, damage and exposed, two damage, two damage and uh, like a jump. And then if you go down the bottom, you get one damage, a damage and a push and three damage. So you're probably the best to do max damage. You want to be going down for three, four, five, eight damage, which is pretty good. Um, and then for his tacticals and expert, or sorry, his crits and his expertise. So one to two crits, one to two, sorry, expertise gets you a crit. Three to four gets you two, and five plus gets you three. So that's not too bad. This is where it gets interesting. So aggressive defense. One expertise gets you uh, a block and turns a hit into a miss. Two to three gets you a block, turns a crit into a miss and turns a hit into a miss, which is really good. And then if you get four or more, you get a block, a crit goes to a hit, a hit goes to a miss, uh, sorry, a crit goes to a miss, not a hit. Uh, a hit goes to a miss and, and you get a jump. He is very good. And this is his other option. So you had six uh, attacking with lightsaber dice on the other side, which is Jedi Master, and then this is form seven Vapad, which is interesting because you have two starting points that branch in them. So you can do a strain and a damage, or you can start off with two damage, followed by three damage, two damage. So at the minute we're up to what's that? Seven, eight damage, and a disarm. 10 damage, 11 damage and a reposition. So if you just went straight across the top, you'd actually be doing mental amounts of damage. If you go, the other option then is strain and a damage, or up to four damage, five damage and an expose, six damage and a disarm, seven damage and a pin, eight damage and a repo. I think the 10 damage is better. Obviously you're getting more stats on them, so, or conditions, it depends really how you want to play that, but I'd probably just be going straight across the top if I could, which is only six, so it's not that many to get there. Looking at his tacticals, then we have lightsaber one to two expertise will get you a uh, crit, three to four will get you two crits, and five plus will get you three crits, which is decent. Um, not so good in the defense side this time around. You can see, I should have mentioned earlier, he only has five dice blocking for shooting and melee. So a uh, tactical will get you one block and it turns a crit into a hit, which is still decent I suppose. Two to three will get you two blocks and a crit to a hit, and then four plus will get you two blocks, a crit to a hit and a reposition. I hadn't actually been that excited to play him, but um, this will very may well have changed my mind. So, pawns. While we're on Mace Window, what we will do is have a look at his unit card so he comes with six squad points and gives you four force which isn't bad so his start of activation action is rush to action at the start of this unit's activation choose another allied galactic republic unit each character in that unit and each character in the chosen unit may dash that's not bad so you're just getting a free move straight off the bat uh, just by activating Tempered Aggression, when a character in this unit makes an attack, after all attack dice and defense dice have been rolled, this unit may spend any number of force to use this ability. Reroll one miss result in the attack roll for each force spent. That's good. If you're looking to try and kill someone, you can burn your force points to reroll your misses, if you have any. Shadow Point, when this unit is chosen to activate with a Shadow Point card, if its active stance is Form 7 Vapad, it immediately makes a focus action and characters in this unit have impact too until the end of the turn. If the stance is Jedi Master, refresh two force and one character in this unit may heal three. So there's benefits to both of them if you pull him or you activate him off the Shatter Point card depending on which stance he's in. And then his last uh, ability is the, this party's over. While the character in this unit is engaged, allied Galactic Republic units within five have steadfast and protection that is decent um, he has 11 hit points basically and three lives so similar to Anakin if I'm not mistaken or exactly the same as Anakin and he brings the same force very good uh, looking forward to playing him and now we will actually look at commander points 
So Commander Pons, he has a uh, range 5 shooting attack, hitting uh, with 6 dice, he's blocking again with 5 against shooting attacks. In melee then he only has 5 uh, attack dice and 5 defend dice. So this stance is superior recon and that's the only one that he gets. So he has the DC-155 blaster rifle, uh, that's for shooting, has 1 to 3 expertise will get you 2 hits, 4 plus will get you 2 crits, not bad. Uh, his chart or his track, 2 damage, 1 damage or 1 push and 2 damage up to 4 damage, that's 5 and a disarm, 7. So he's actually a powerhouse for putting out damage very quick or alternatively depending on the situation you can do two damage bounce down for one damage and a repo so you're up to three a pinned and a damage so you're up to four and then two damage for seven so depending on what you need you can pin and repo yourself or pin the enemy and repo yourself so he's pretty good in melee then we have uh one to three expertise will get you uh a crit and a hit, 4 plus will get you 2 crits, so uh, he's actually better in combat for some reason, he's getting crits with his pistols in combat, and then he's phase 2 clone armor, which is uh, an expertise will get you, 1 to 2 gets you a block, and 3 plus gets you 2 blocks, so he seems pretty good. Uh, looking at his stack card, he costs 3, he brings 0 force, he's only a clone, so he You'd expect that. His start of torn activation is charge. At the start of this unit's activation, choose another Allied Galactic Republic character. That chosen character may dash. So him and Mace bring a lot of movement straight off the bat just from activating. Incoming is another one. Allied Clone Trooper units within three. They have one or more hunker have immunity exposed, which is good. And then his last ability is forward scout. When deploying a squad that includes this unit, allied clone trooper secondary characters and allied clone trooper supporting characters may be placed within two of the first place character from that squad's primary instead of the normal one. So you're getting an extra inch basically or an extra one um, on your deployment which is quite interesting. I'm just thinking of the tactical uses of that. He's got 7 hit points and 2 endurance, which is pretty in line with what I've seen for clones so far. And then finally we have the ARF Troopers. Starting off we have, um, it's only one stance, so they have a range 5 shooting attack with 7 attack dice and 4 defending. In melee they have 5 attack dice, 4 defending. And what we're looking at here is a DC 15A blaster rifle, uh, an ex a tactical or expertise will get you one hit, three will get you a crit and a hit, and four plus will get you two crits. And then in melee, uh, a tactical will get you one, will get you one hit, and anything after that will just get you two hits. So they're not great in combat, they're more kind of long range scout sniper clones rather than melee beasts. For damage then, you've got a pin and a damage, a push and a damage, an expose and a damage, and then just two damage. So you're getting five damage total out of them, um, unless you want to disarm the opponent, and then you're only getting three damage, a pin, a push, and a, a disarm. So they're not great, but they would be really good at um, just laying damage in, I think. Or I suppose getting the, sh the shots in to lay the damage. Um interesting and then we have their stack card i'm not going to read these ones because they are in a different language so the arf clone troopers cost three zero force artwork is just brilliant on this um defensive maneuver so cost one force each character in this unit may dash if any characters dash they gain hunker so similar to what we've seen on the other clones uh, coordinate fire Exposed when a character in another allied galactic republic unit makes an attack as part of a combat action. Before dice are rolled, this unit may use this ability. If the targeted character is within five of a character in this unit, the target gains exposed. So they similar to what um, the 504s and the 212 brings, just they give uh, coordinate fire exposed. Brothers in arms, while this unit has one or more hunker, character in this unit have steadfast 
and then what appears to be their one is lay low. When a character in this unit rolls defense dice during a shooting attack, if the unit has one or more hunkers, add an expertise to the roll, which is quite good because uh, an expertise will lead them to more blocks. So that is it for this unboxing of the ARF Trooper box. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the stats of the units and stay tuned for more content.